What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's good. Um, staying warm. It's kind of cold here. Um, don't normally do uh, breaking news like this because uh, it's not something that um, you know I feel like I have to do because everybody else does a better job than me. Um, but I do have. Um, some breaking news I want to react to and kind of give you guys in regards to uh, SmackDown and subsequently um, the Survivor Series coming on Sunday. So um, before I get into any of that, I do want to let you guys know that uh, this video will contain spoilers so if people <clears throat> haven't seen it yet at the time that they're watching this um and they don't want to be spoiled skip it um like i said i try not to do too many of these types of power bombs but uh on the in this case um uh, this is uh Falling under the category of exception to every rule. Now that the proper spoiler warnings have been given and explanation, let's get into the news. Um, on Raw last night, which if you're seeing this on Wednesday or later, uh, last night refers to Monday, as this is being recorded on Tuesday. Um, on Raw last night, um, SmackDown Women invaded Raw, um, attacked the Raw women's roster, and it started with uh, Becky Lynch in the back, just had uh, Ronda Rousey trapped in the disarmor. Uh, finishing move. Well, after that, she stormed to the ring, and the rest of the SmackDown women uh, stormed to the ring and just beat the ever loving dog shit out of everybody. And it was a basic, um, you know, brawl, kind of like uh, the Nexus did when they debuted. Um, it was a brawl to end the show, and in the middle of it, uh, Becky got um, busted open the hard way, and I thought, wow, you know, not knowing what happened, uh, what the excitement was, I remember uh, watching this earlier this afternoon, and thinking, wow, you know, this is old school, you know, red draw screen, and, you know, this is just an old school fucking, you know, kick everybody's ass and uh, leave everybody laying and end the show in chaos type of deal, which I saw a lot of on my grandmother's old wrestling tapes, and I started watching the NWA um, in my first actual memory in 88, but um, apparently I was watching the show around 85, 86, um, if you would ever listen to my grandmother. So I thought, you know, wow, this is perfect build for Survivor Series. Um, I loved it, and then when I woke up this afternoon, about 3 o'clock, I started hearing rumblings that uh, Becky was pulled from the match with Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series, and nothing was confirmed by WWE at the time, so I didn't, like, think anything of it, you know, it may just be part of the, part of the angle. Well, 
this back count happens, and sure enough, they pull Becky um, from the match due to broken nose and concussion. And even though Survivor Series is a week away, um, medical staff aren't going to clear her from the concussion in a week, and the broken nose, I guess, um, would not have allowed her to compete, even if she were to wear a mask, I think. Um, but that's just speculation on my part. Um, how this actually happened is, during the brawl at some point, Nia Jax hit her for real, and hit her so hard, I guess she broke her nose, like I said, and gave her a concussion. Um, and first part of the SmackDown spoiler, um, Becky chose to take her place against Ronda at the Royal Series, Charlotte Flair, which, okay, cool, I would have liked to have seen that match held off on until Mania 35, but injuries happen, and, you know, as is... Uh, so, in the recent cases, plans have had to be, you know, uh, followed up on uh, quicker than normal. Um, I don't know if this means that they're going to either strip her, being Becky, pronounced out, um, of the SmackDown title, or have her drop to somebody, but... As of now, she is out of Survivor Series, and Charlotte is now stepping in to face Ronda at Survivor Series. Next order of business. Um, there was a an announcement made that AJ Styles would face Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship on SmackDown, and Daniel Bryan actually did beat uh, AJ Styles to become the new uh, WWE Champion. Um, in, the, in the process of that, um, he did indeed turn heel. Uh, I don't know what the explanation is going to be for this. But I will be interested to find out, and um, you know I'm not going to shit on it totally until I find out where it goes and see where it goes. Um, with Brian now winning the WWE Championship, he slides into the match with Lesnar at Survivor Series, and another Survivor, another uh, spoiler here from the SmackDown taping. Uh, Jet or SmackDown show, uh, Jeff Hardy does replace him on the SmackDown men's uh, Survivor Series team. Um, I don't know how that uh, was decided upon. I haven't watched the show yet. Um, but that is apparently the route they're going to go. Um, again, I do not know the reason for the Daniel Bryan heel turn. Um, I certainly didn't see it coming, which I give them credit for because most heel turns you can see coming a mile a fucking way. So, you know, props to them on that for doing something that was kind of unexpected, at least to me. Um, and we'll see how it goes, and this should make for an interesting pay-per-view on Sunday, and interesting SmackDown TV going forward. I don't know, like I said, what this means uh, 
and why it was done. I don't know if AJ suffered some kind of an injury that necessitated it. I haven't seen anything uh, to that ilk. So I don't know if they're just doing it for shock value and to say anything could happen anytime. That's the route they're going. Okay, cool. I like it. Good. Um, I didn't see it coming, so nice execution. Um, but um, I think that AJ and Brock would have actually been a better matchup uh, for Brock based on the match they had a while ago. Um, I think it was last year. Um, at Survivor Series, um, I think it probably would have been better, but I'm willing to give a Brian Lesnar matchup, you know, a chance. I'm not going to shit on it either way. Either way. Um, we'll just have to see where all this goes. Um, you know, I like that they're um, trying to add a air of unpredictability here. And I wish more wrestling companies would do this because um, it makes the show more enjoyable and things more or less predictable. And that's always a good thing. Uh, with that said, I'm going to get off of here. Um, and get this sent out. Um, thanks for those of you who, or to those of you who have watched this. Um, I appreciate it. Without y'all, I couldn't do what I do. So thank you for allowing me the outlet and, uh, you know, allowing me to evolve creatively. Um, as the simplest things in life for me um, need to become a little bit harder. So, appreciate it. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Peace.